found, a 350 that was blue. Okay. And the first tour that we went on, a lot of times I wasn't driving, or even if I was, it doesn't matter. But I chewed my gum, and I, you know, it's like, where do you put the gum sometimes? So I just throw it out the window, which okay. is a totally lame thing to do, because we're probably killing birds everywhere we go. But yeah. Yeah, so I'm awesome. But um, <laughs> I think it was like halfway through that tour, a bass player in that band noticed that it was like, it had just, it was all over the van. The gum? And, and the thing about that gum is because it has chemicals in it, yeah. it, like, it melts and like goes no. into the paint. It basically like you ruined the paint the job van on up. my van. Yeah, I fucked the van up. Oh my God. Yeah. Did you guys buy, cool. it, you bought the van, right? I, or were you I, yeah, I bought the van. Oh my gosh. Everyone hates I, you. I always wanted a van. My whole, God, I was in a van for how many years? And not, now I have a van. Don't hate me. <laughs> I'm like 20 years too late, you know? Yeah, well, I don't see any later on here. I'm a little disappointed. No, it's true, but because I've been more respectful in yeah. recent times. But if you look in our van, you could probably look almost anywhere on the floor. It's there. Somewhere. I just put them back in, and then I cut oh. them up. But so you're stopping smoking then, them. obviously. I haven't smoked in two years, and whenever New Year's Eve. And you still have to chew well, you know, it's hard. It's really difficult oh. for me. No, I know, it's actually just so pathetic. It's like I quit. Quit smoking, start chewing the gum, and I probably chew the same amount right. of nicotine. And, you know, it's, yeah. Well, I don't like I to... I spend the same amount of money. Right. I suppose the only thing better is my lungs. I was going to say, I don't support nicotine, but I would yeah. rather someone chew the gum than smoke. Yeah. Because you're not making us suffer around you. It's true. It's a lesser of evils. And what's very cool about it is I can chew it anywhere, anytime. Chad is chewing it right now, I think. Yeah, dude. I just had a piece of my mouth, but I had to take it out for the coffee. I'll be right with you in a minute. Cigarette <laughs> pals. Always in my pocket. It's like a lot of pen for people with panic anxiety disorder. That's, that's, you know, I have to have it on me all the time. Good. Well, um, back to the questions, mm. I guess. Uh, so your first album, duh, mm-hmm. was released 20 years ago. Yeah, 91. Is right-ish? We, yeah, well, it came out in 92, huh? Yeah. We made it in, like, 1990, though. That's what's awesome. Yeah. About. Yeah, we made that record, and we were called, we didn't even have the same name, we were called Section 8. I know most of this because when we did this box set, we had to kind of review, right? you know, everything, and I had to basically relearn our evolution, which, of course, I'd forgotten all of it, because I don't remember things. But, uh, yeah, that record, we were called Section 8, and that's what the reel said, and it was, and the dates on it were like, I swear it was like February 91 or something, and I thought... Did it really take like a year for it to come out? But I think that's yeah. kind of how it was back then. It just took forever. But it's you know, bad. people are still listening to that record, and you know, people are still stoked on it. Do you uh, do you uh, still play a lot of songs from that, or do you? On on this tour, we've only been playing songs for the first five records. Mm-hmm. So in the beginning, I mean, we had some ideals. You know, we were yeah. like, okay, we're gonna play like you know, we were playing everything. Yeah. And. Uh, especially songs off the first two records, which, you know, we knew would make certain people really happy. Um, but the reality of it was, we got a few shows in, and uh, we can't quite do it. What all of it. I, well, they can. Okay. I, I can. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's like if I do that set every night with all the old ones in yeah. it, we'll do some tonight. Okay. But if I do a set with a bunch of those old ones, I mean, mm-hmm. I was like 22 years old. Right. Uh... You know. But wait, is it like hard, or what do you mean? Like, why like can't I you do can't, it? I can't sing now. Oh, way. I get it. Like your stamina. I, I, I just, there's no time. It's like when you're a little kid and you write a record like that, you're just like, yeah, yeah. Who needs to breathe? Who cares about right, breathing? Right, right. You know, and like oh, I, I had no idea what I was doing, so it's like it's all super high, and it's just. <laughs> and so, <clears throat> um, I think mainly the reason that I don't like to do it too much, you know, every night is, well, damages my voice really fast, because mm-hmm. I can't figure out how to sing those songs without destroying myself, and then the other thing is, uh, uh, it doesn't sound very good, the band sounds really good, <laughs> but, but yeah. I sound really horrible singing some of those songs, so we'll put like one or two of those real hard ones in the okay. set, um, but don't worry, I mean, we play a lot of old stuff, Okay, good. it's just not as much. <laughs> the first show we did, we played 35 or 36 songs. Holy shit. And it was like, <laughs> we played, I think, like eight songs off the. Okay. And, you know, like the Maybe next the day, I was just like, hey, can somebody pass me the toast? You know, I mean, it was just, wasn't cool. Okay. It wasn't going to work out for the next town. So. Right. 
Okay, well, you do actually still sound swell, not to like oh, I'm all good kiss now. your ass, but Amazing. I've seen you a bunch this year, and you you sound really good. I mean, for it being 20 years, it's like... It's just a matter of I know how to do it now, and I know what I can right. do and what I can't do. <laughs> Sometimes I have deadlines, and, and those things always take longer than they're supposed to. But any spare time I have, I spend with my daughter and wife at home, you know, just hang out with the girls and let them abuse me. <laughs> it's really nice. That's good. I like it. Well, I was going to ask you if you were surprised at the Good Riddance reunion announcement. I actually was, and I was super stoked. And I, We're I all think, peeing our pants. I think Simon. it's kind of a drag, because we're on tour almost constantly this right. whole year. We just have all these tours. And so, you know, I always have this problem when I hear about something like that. I immediately go, okay, am I going to be home for any right. of this? Like, is there any way I can fly somewhere and see it? Because I'd love to go to that, you know? And of course, I think anything they're going to be doing out here, I'll be gone. But we're playing a festival in Belgium together. Yeah. And I just found out yesterday, they play a different day. No! Yay. And you're going to be gone? Yeah, it's like totally weird too because I think we're on the kind of more punk day or whatever like mm -hmm. but I think they're I think it's because it's such a big deal they're like headlining right. on the stage so they, huh. they play a different day yeah um anyway I'm stoked for them because they're you know they're great guys and yeah. great. they're such a good band they've been torturing us since 2007 with really saying them they oh, would so never they, they would never yeah. right yeah. and um so we're all very excited well, but being like obviously Russ there, went on a few solo tours that'll take care of that yes I can attest to that. <laughs> no, the solo tours are really fun and they're great mm -hmm. and they're good to do. I, think I did catch some of the solos. But if you, yeah, but if you do enough of that, you, you, you know, you get an itch and you start to miss the like yeah. the thing, you know, the full band. Yeah, you miss the rock. Okay. Cool. Well, um, so that's cool that you're excited about it because obviously yeah. you guys are longtime label mates. Mm -hmm. And um, well, hopefully they'll stay together long enough that we can play together. Yeah. You know, sooner or later. Let's hope so. Well, that's all the questions I have. If you have anything else you'd like to add, uh, I've got the camera. Fish is not a vegetable. I mean, I eat fish, but I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> no, I don't have anything. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. You said that last time. I, I know. Was, is that what like your thing? It, it, it's just the only thing I ever think of. Okay. Thinking. So you want to add something? Right. It's just sort of mundane and <laughs> stupid enough to just pull out. Is that yep. Dave? Hello. There's Dave right over there. Just hanging oh. out. Hi. Dave is uh, <laughs> my bodyguard and my drummer, dude. Like you're raging alcohol. It's like, hello, I'm here 
Joey at 3 p.m. on no, Sunday. No, I'm good. We're good now. 